Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak today. Um, it's truly a, an honor for me to have this opportunity. Um, it's also a little bit of a surprise because I only found out I'd be talking here about an hour ago before I popped into the car, so I got, a, got an email. But that said, I'm a lecturer by, uh, by profession, and so give me a stage and I can talk for hours. <laughs> What I'd really like to talk about, though, is uh, this very issue of creativity and the opportunity uh, to give uh, young people uh, to actually create and to, to think about new ways of doing things. When I did my, uh, my advanced degree, I focused very much on the issue of creativity. And if there's ever anything guaranteed to kill people's creativity, it's studying creativity. Um, but that said, I can see real value in, uh, in enhancing creative thinking, new ways of thinking, and doing things very differently. Um, and I think part of the reason for the, the need for us to pay special attention to this stems from the fact that the world within which we're living, the world in which we're working, is changing so rapidly. I think if there's one thing that we can guarantee about tomorrow is that it's going to be very different to the world that we live in today. And for this reason, I think that we at, uh, at uh, universities have a responsibility to encourage new ways of thinking, unorthodox ways of thinking. This is actually kind of an unusual challenge for me because whenever I teach and discuss issues of creativity, a lot of people seem to nod sagely and say, yeah, this is really, really important. But when we give people the opportunity to, to think and to work differently, we tend to find ourselves in uncharted territory. We tend to find that it's somewhat difficult to do. I find that with my classes, because so many of us have been taught to find out what the right answer is, taught to, to think in a certain way, that when we're given the chance to, to think in a different way, this can be a little bit awkward. It can be a little bit different and a little bit difficult. And so part of our challenge at university is to try to modify how students think, how we consider particular challenges, and how we can perhaps overcome some of these. Now, when I first began teaching, I suppose in a sense I had grand ideas and grand, a grand uh, notion about what the future would hold. And I think as time has gone on, I've started to maybe question some of these assumptions. And indeed, this is part of the challenge that we have in the university sector. We need to constantly question. We need to constantly challenge assumptions that are often so ingrained. What we try to do at Murdoch University is to build an environment and an infrastructure that will help students to work in different ways and to pursue different careers. And part of this, relies on study, and part of this emphasis relies on providing opportunities. When we had the opportunity to sit down with Fen, and Victor, and everyone at Alpha Incubation, I've got to say we were very, very excited because I think it provides an extra piece of the puzzle that is so very, very important for the current generation and future generations. Universities have a place. And we try to do, our, do what we can to give opportunities and, and, and encourage young entrepreneurs. But I think what Alpha Innovation is doing is absolutely exceptional. And I think provides a great foundation and a great set of opportunities for the next generation and indeed, of course, the current generation. We're very, very delighted to have an opportunity to work with Alpha Innovation and uh, certainly expect fantastic things ahead. Thank you very much, Peter.